Welcome to MES eLearning channel. In this video, we will continue with mesh analysis. Now, if you compare this circuit with the previous examples, we have included here current sources other than voltage source. So let us see how to solve a problem using mesh analysis if current sources are present in the given network. And say you have to find out the current through 5 ohm resistor. The first two steps will remain the same. That is, identify the meshes and mark the mesh currents. So in this case, how many meshes are there? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let us mark the mesh currents, say I1. Let this be I2. Let this be I3. Let this be I4. Once you have marked the mesh currents, let us see the next step now. Now, if you see this current source, this current source is present in the outermost path of this particular mesh. In such a case, you can assign the value of this mesh current equal to the value of the current source. Similarly, if you come to this particular mesh, this current source is present in the outermost path of this particular mesh, which means this mesh current I3 can be assigned the value equal to 3 amperes. Same is the case for this current source. Since it is present in the outermost path of this particular mesh, you can assign the value of I4 equal to the value of this current source. Now, when you are assigning the mesh current value equal to the value of the current source, you need to be careful about the sign of the current. For example, in this case now, if you see, I1 is flowing through this branch and the direction of this current source is same as the direction of this mesh current. So you can write here, I1 is equal to plus 4 amperes. Check for the second current source, I3 in the clockwise direction and when it reaches the current source, you can observe again the direction of this current source matches with the direction of this mesh current. So you can write I3 is again equal to plus 3 amperes. Similarly, you have a current source here and what is the current flowing through this current path? It is your current I4. Now, in this case, if you see, I4 is coming in the downward direction, whereas 3 amperes is going in the upward direction. Since both these are in the opposite directions, you can consider I4 is equal to minus 3 amperes because the direction of this mesh current is opposite to the direction of the current source. So here if you see now we have directly got the values of the mesh currents I1, I3 and I4. Whereas if you compare it with our earlier problems, in order to calculate the mesh currents, you have to first write down the KVL equation for all the meshes and then you have to calculate the mesh currents and from those mesh currents you calculate the individual branch current. But because of the presence of the current sources here, we are directly getting the values of the current sources. What is important is the current source should be present in the outermost path of a particular mesh. So out of the four mesh currents, we have already got the values of three mesh currents. So which is the only mesh current that needs to be calculated now? It is only I2. So since I2 is the only unknown here, we will write the equation only for mesh 2. So the next step would be writing the KVL equation for only mesh 2 because remaining mesh currents, we have already got it. Follow the same procedure for writing the KVL. This is a resistance here, so minus 5 into, since there are two currents flowing here, I2 and I1, and both are in the opposite direction through this 5 ohm resistance, and we are writing the equation for mesh 2, so this will be written as I2 minus I1. Come to this 2 ohm resistance, two currents flowing, I2 and I3, both in the opposite direction, resistance, so minus 2 into I2 minus I3. This is again a resistance here, 
So minus 2 into, again two currents flowing through this, I2 minus I4. Now this is voltage source. Now since you are writing for I2, if you see here, I2 is first touching the positive sign here. So you will write here as minus 2. You have covered all the elements. So is equal to 0. Now group the terms together I1, I2, I3 and I4. We already know the value of I1, I3 and I4. So substitute these values here. So you will get 5 into I1 is 4 minus 9 I2 plus 2 into value of I3 is 3 plus 2 into value of I4 is minus 3 is equal to 2. So the only unknown remaining here is I2. Simplify the equation and find out the value of I2. So here once you substitute you get the value of I2 as 2 amperes. The direction will be in the clockwise. What is our question? We are interested in finding out the current through 5 ohm resistance. So you can find out the current through 5 ohm resistance is equal to, if you see our 5 ohm resistor, which are the two currents flowing through this 5 ohm resistor? I1 and I2. The direction of I1 through 5 is downwards, the direction of I2 is upwards. Both are in the opposite direction, that means you need to subtract them. Either you can go for I1 minus I2 or I2 minus I1. So the currents are I1 and I2. So if you see, if we do I1 minus I2, it will give you a positive answer. So this we can write it as I1 minus I2, so that is 4 minus 2, so that is 2 amperes. And what will be its direction? Since you have written I1 minus I2, so the direction of I1 through 5 is downwards, so we will mark it downwards. So this is the advantage of having current sources in the outermost path of the meshes, you directly get the value of the mesh currents. So the number of KVL equations will reduce. I hope this sum is clear all of you. Thank you.